Also, this chocolate is so good. It is dark milk chocolate. I did not know it existed until Tony Chocoloni made some made some and it's basically a mix of milk chocolate and dark chocolate and what they mean with that is that there is more cocoa powder in here uh but less than it would ha would have in dark chocolate i don't know it's just heavenly good but i'm packing my brother is gaming i'm packing because my mom and I are leaving tomorrow to go to Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Which is gonna be exciting. I am so excited for this. This is, this is like one of my dream trips that I wanted to make because I've heard so many stories that it's so pretty up there and that's, I just, I just can't wait to explore all the, I don't know, like the small towns and the, the, the harbor towns. Is that what you call them? or the harbor cities. From what I know, the area that's called New England is a bunch of states where the English first resid um, first found their residency or like where they resided. Is that what it's called? Um, I really cannot, I've, I'm so tired right now because it was a busy week with appointments and stuff to uh figure out before we have to leave i i'm i feel like i'm i'm talking nonsense right now so um i've got my outfit ready for the airport i've got my guitar ready my backpack is almost packed i need to wait for two shirts to dry and then i can pack those up as well so yeah Hello, I hope you are having a lovely Monday and I had an idea. I had an idea to do a mini series in my stories today of me singing English songs performed by Dutch artists because I'm a Dutch artist who sings and writes English songs and I think that'll be fun. So let's do it. Toronto International Airport. This thing has been blowing all night, but it's fine. We are in Toronto. Um, you can't really see anything of Toronto because we are near the airport in between other hotels. We landed at 
fifteen p.m. after having a delay from two uh, for, after having a three hour delay. However, we had a two hour layover, so we were five hours in the airport, which was exhausting. But we are here, and that's what matters. It is currently eight uh, eight o'clock and twelve minutes in the morning. I just showered. I slept like six, maybe five hours, but. It's fine, at least I woke up in the morning instead of in the middle of the night because jet lag. Um, I'll show you a quick tour of the room, but honestly, it is really messy, so I'm not doing that to you. I just made myself some coffee. This is not Tim Horton's coffee yet. This is Timothy's coffee, which are the cups that are here in a hotel. Um, I will get myself on a Tim Hortons coffee very soon though, because it is only a 10 minute walk away from the hotel and your girl loves Tim Hortons, so we are going there. But we're also taking it easy today because it was a long day yesterday, like long, and we deserve some rest, so. I just went to Tim Hortons and I got the Timbits because they're amazing and I got two bagels for me and my mom. Now I'm walking back, I'm walking along a very busy road and I don't feel very comfortable, but we're doing it. So anyway. I love the city. I love <laughs> very the city. pretty city. Beautiful over here. We have a very good view of the of the city too. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Hi, vlog from New York City. I just went to Whole Foods Market, that is huge. I was lost nine out of 10 times. But so much fruit and so much vegetables and so much healthy stuff, which I appreciate. Anyway, I think I need to turn right here to get back to the hotel. I don't know if I'm walking the right way. Anyways, just keep walking, acting like you're a local. Anyway. It was a rough day. We took a taxi or like a cab, like the yellow cabs, to our hotel, but I put in the wrong address. So that was, that sucked. And that was totally my fault. That was totally my fault. And I take full responsibility for that mistake. But I just got food and everything. We got a nice hotel, a nice hotel room. It's, I don't really know how I feel about being back in the city, but I guess it's New York, so it's always a party. It's all, so, always something happening. But I just wanted to give you a little update on that. It's so much, so much impressions all at the same time. Oh my God. We're walking on Times Square. I always forget how crowded this is, which makes sense, obviously, but... Oh my god. 
I'm gonna pretend like I know a lot. Did you know that Times Square is named Times Square because the New York Times had a building here and I wanted the entire square to be named after them. And did you know that Times Square is the most safest place in New York because there are so many people and so many lights that rarely any robberies or anything happens. Just a lot of people. Okay, thank you. Are you wiser now? I'm very wise for now. That is the Spotify billboard. And in a couple of months, you will see my face on it. This is where I'd be, as a, where, where, where I said I would be as a little girl. Are you better yet? You are on here now. I am on Broadway, guys. I'm on Broadway. It's officially happened. My All of my dreams have come true. Literally walking here to avoid all the chaos of Times Square. The city as, is as, um, as overwhelming as ever. People were saying lives living in this city. Well, well, well. <sighs> Times Square, that was the last time. Next time I'm in New York City, I will only go to Times Square on very, very early hours where it's not that crowded and not so hot. We should visit New York in the winter time instead of in the summertime. Then, then there are snowstorms. <laughs> True. Well, I do prefer that overheat. Anyways, I'm gonna show you the hotel room because, yes, I know, but I'm not gonna record you. I'm gonna record like half the bed and I'm gonna be like that. And I, <laughs> I don't see you now, like I'm just feeling myself. Anyway, we start with the mirror. Like every other hotel room, there is a mirror here. Um, then we have a little stationery for coffee. We've got a microwave and a mini fridge. We got a closet with ironing, which I don't know why we would use that, but fine. Here's the bathroom with good lighting, which we always appreciate. Hides all of the imperfections. Good shower. It's, it's, it's got what it, it's, it got, it, it's got what it needs. Is that what, is that good English? Anyway, then we have a TV table and chair and a mess that we already made then sitting area and a bed which is comfortable it has a light and everything it's just your average hotel room but it's nice and we enjoy it and we can sleep in it and we have breakfast included and it's like right in the middle of the city so we can just walk everywhere which is also really nice anyway I'm tired. We, how long were we out? Like 30 minutes, an hour? How long were we out? No, anderhalf uur was in We were, we were away from 90 minutes. A little short, 80 minutes. We were away for, for one movie. <laughs> uh, that was actually longer, but we had delays on Times Square because a lot of people so many people. I don't know if I've seen that many people in Times Square. No, I have. I have. I've been in the summer before. And um, it is Sunday, September 3rd. It was a rough, rough day. Started out, started out good. Flight went well, slightly delayed, but we landed on time. Uh, up until the cab drive. Huh? Times Square. So up until the cab ride and me putting in the wrong location, it was a good day. Okay, anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching my vlog. Um, we are in Hectic, New York, live reporting. Um, how do you do that in news reporter voice? Live reporting from New York City. Quinty is checking out. Um, I will see you next week in a new vlog with new adventures. We will have our camper van, our colorful, colorful camper van, which I'm excited to pick up and just go explore and see what the day brings. And we're also shooting some cool content and we are preparing for something great on October 9th, which is also <sighs> my 
this is so good. It's really hard to believe sometimes. Sometimes it seems too good to be true. But you know what? Why can't things be so good that it feels like it's too good to be true? Anyways, thank you so much for watching my vlog. I really appreciate your presence here and I hope to see you again next time.